वेलकम टू सी एफ बोर्ड सो हियर आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल यू डिफरेंस बिटवीन ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेक्शन एंड ट्रैकिंग सो देर आर टू मेथड्स सपोज लाइक ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेक्शन एंड ऑब्जेक्ट ट्रैकिंग द डिफरेंस इज लाइक अगेन इन ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेक्शन वॉट विल डू इट इज एक्चुअली मोर और लेस डन फॉर द पिक्चर्स So if we have this a picture frame, so we're just detecting like this is a cat, this is a dog, chair, human hand. So we'll be detecting those using hard cascades or through custom framing of so many images. But in object tracking, what we'll do is again object detection can also be done for the video. So for each frame, so if we have this a first frame, second frame, third, fourth, fifth, so on. So for each frame, the hand will be detected. And for this frame, hand is detected like this. So, if it is continuously done like this, it will be nothing but object tracking. But we are like more or less doing some kind of trick or tweak for object tracking here in object detection. So, this method is known as dense method because uh, more or less in every frame, we are trying to get the image where it is located, the coordinates, and we are going to draw the contours. So, uh, it's like object detection, but for every frame we are doing, and it is computer intense. Computation is like very costly for this type of. Uh, What we or we can say object uh, tracking using dense method, and again this is only like uh, one one car has been moved from this uh, in this frame it was here in this frame it was somewhere here. So using the timestamp t1 t1 plus 5, so how much it's moved so we can calculate the speed distance again using those equation as you know normal physics equations simple equations. And again this is a dense method. We also have uh, an object tracking dense method. And we have sparse method. Sparse method. What it tells is actually, as we have the frames, so we'll just assume here we have hand over here. Like uh, no, more or less by training, we can assume or we can predict. Like after in this frame, in uh, like uh, this frame, it's like hundred frame for suppose. In one not one frame, we can just predict that hand can be possibly located closer to it or in the certain boundary. So we'll just predict where our hand is. So with that prediction. Uh, we will uh, track. That is another method, sparse, and again computational will be less costly than dense method. So this is a prediction game, and we just draw a like small curve, like we will be getting. That means uh, the this is a curve. Actually, what it represents means our object can be possibly like a probability it will be possibly in this coordinate in this uh, frame. Yeah. So yeah, pretty much in the sparse method, we try to predict that uh, if we have hand over in this place. And for the next frame, we can just predict that in this certain boundary, like for suppose is the first frame and this second frame. So if hand is observed in this certain region for the past hundred record, this is hundred record, and this is a one not one record. So it has been found in this boundary. So we obviously for this record also we can assume or we can predict that hand will be somewhere over in this boundary because for these many like a uh, one to hundred frames, we have predicted that our hand is. Certainly enclosed in this boundary only. Again, at first it will be like uh, not showing the good results because we have started training from one. So from first frame to second frame tracking, like sparse using sparse method, it will be like accuracy will be less. But after reaching some certain state, say suppose hundred and one not one, so we can like uh, accurately or close to accurately we can say that our hand can be found in this certain boundary which we have uh, framed using that framing. So that was the small differences which I want to give regarding object tracking and object detection. So hope you see in the next video. And then signing off, cbrocket dot cbrocket dot close. Thank you. And this video is brought to you and sponsored by CBR Rocket. Again, if you don't know, we provide solutions, products, and services in the radar of AI, machine learning, deep learning, and for like websites, apps, etc. So you can just check it out. And we have some platforms. Coding now platform is actually for coders. Those who have like interest in this coding department, you can just check it out. And again, some of my projects are also all the details will be there. You can anonymously go, anonymous login, all those options. Again, video is there in the YouTube channel. You can just check it out. And this is the CVR Learn where we have the courses, and you can just check it out. Those things like these are some courses. And again, donation is going on. You can also shoot up for the donation. This thing and I'm giving some courses, uh, promo codes, benefits too, and this uh, play plug. It's actually like plugins, web plugin, just socket chat. Others are other plugins and courses uh, are in like uh, staging. Again, existing user can use though. So you can just avail this all the payments with card and again with uh, Stripe, PayPal, all those UPI payment gateways, all those enabled. You can just check in, uh, check out these things, and at last we have like a CVR games. This web game, if I suppose 
and there are two games you can just log in from here and just play like decode it and uh, quiz game and again those videos also there in the youtube channel so you can just check for all the details shoot out the description box below